Hi, everybody. This is Tom Morris at planetarybiology.com, and uh, this is a short video showing you how to install and set up my Exoplanet Explorer application called Exo Explorer. The uh, first thing you need to do, let's get started, is go to uh, load up your browser and go to planetarybiology.com. Near the top of that, uh, screen is a little link that says Exo Explorer. So click on Exo Explorer. Let me kind of show you what Exo Explorer is quickly. Um, here's an a screenshot of Exo Explorer. What Exo Explorer allows you to do is to scroll through right now about 6,000 different exoplanets and uh, uh, take a quick look at what it would be like to be on on that exoplanet orbiting a distant sun or on a moon uh, that's orbiting the exoplanet, which is also orbiting a distant sun. So uh, more about that a little bit later. So to download Exo Explorer, you need to go to the uh, scroll down on this page to where it says download the Exo Explorer installer. It's at SourceForge. Um, so um, just click on the link. Now, um, just click on download from uh, SourceForge. That should get you started. Pick a location. I've already in, uh, downloaded it before, so pick a location on your computer on where to save the uh, setup file. And that will take a while. Once the download is uh, is complete, um, go to the uh, download file folder, and uh, I'm just going to do this just to, to demonstrate that um, generally this is, generally, uh, in all cases this has been safe. Uh, I have made Exo Explorer available for free download for over 10 years, probably starting in 2010, 2011, and I've never had a, a report of anybody finding a virus. But we're just going to scan this just because it's good practice. Anytime you download a file, you should scan it. I've just scanned it with uh, Windows Defender. Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and get the installation started. Oh, but there's another little uh, layer of security we have to go through. So uh, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen does not recognize Exo Explorer because uh, I do not have a uh, publisher's certificate. That costs money, and so I'm not going to do that. So um, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Uh, people have been downloading Exo Explorer and running it for over 10 years, and I haven't had a problem. So I'm I'm going to recommend that you run run it anyway, run the installer anyway. You get another one that says, hey, we don't recognize this uh a developer that's just because it's me I'm a one-person shop so um, click on yes and then the installer will start uh, just a standard end-user license agreement nothing fancy there and get the installation going finish and then let's uh, see what we've got here now so you should have should have an exo explorer icon on your desktop so i'm going to double click on that uh, first screen you're going to notice is a little uh, screen that says updating exo explorer database every time the you start exo explorer it uh, checks for the latest uh, exoplanet database in this case your uh, database is up to date because um as part of the installation, Exo Explorer installs um, a database file for you to use. So we're good there, so click OK. The next screen you're going to get is going to ask for kind of a display setup uh, option. I, uh, I generally use the Direct uh, 3D9 rendering system. This, this application was developed uh, at, the, at the time of uh, Direct 3D9, so I'll pick that and apply and uh, that should start the application. So one of the things you'll notice at Exo Explorer, there are a lot of little screens, a lot of little panels all around. 
And uh, you can, I'm going to show you how to rearrange those, but um, and let me just point them out to you. Here's the Voyage itinerary. This is where you have a, a list of uh, places that you can uh, go visit, and I'll show you how to do that, or you can play around with that on your own. I'll show you how to do that on a later video. This is the Exoplanet database bar, and it contains about 6,000 different exoplanets. Um, this is the galactic view here that shows where the exoplanets are in relation to Earth. This is the properties window over here. And this is where you're going to be uh, modifying conditions on the exoplanet, changing the terrain, changing the atmosphere, uh, changing the vehicle that you're going to be traveling around and that kind of thing. So I'm going to show, just show you uh, how I like the... Uh, application to be set up and I'm going to do that by moving these windows around. So I'm going to I'd like to have the voyage leg surface bar. I like to have that down on the uh, down below the galactic view. So uh, I just drag that over until I get, get these little four arrows to show up said so that's where I want it. Okay, and I'll put that there. Now in this uh, in this uh, voyage leg surface bar there's two additional little tabs here. And I like to get those in a place where I can uh, actually where I get a chance to, to see them. So uh, there's a lot of real estate over on this left panel. So I'm going to use some of that and I'm going to put uh, these two little uh, solar or star system panels uh, over there. So let's see, this is the orbit bar and I'm going to make that a, a tab on the uh, uh, solar system bar. So now we have... Now we have, um, I want to get this a little bit more room over here. Yeah. So this is how I like things set up. So we'll just leave it at that. Uh, get you started, um, get you installed, get you arranged, and we'll talk later in later videos about uh, what you can do with this once it's set up. Thanks.